Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to be opening three packages that I received from subscribers. And it was very sweet of them to send me things. It's very sweet. We're going to do a second video tomorrow with three more. Vous êtes beau et fort. Nos sablés, sablés aussi. Oh mon dieu. Well, it looks like this is a picture of the folks that work for the company. That's really cool. I look forward to trying these. It's always so interesting to get to try foods from other parts of the world. <laughs> nice. Let's see what else we have. Here we have peams. I, I, again, I, I, I'm very rusty. So it looks like little cookies, biscuits. Since 1846, creator of biscuits. Since 1846, creator de, I don't know how you say biscuits in French, de puis. And I cannot remember my numbers in French. 1846. Look at this. Don't they look good? They look like they have chocolate on top. And then you have some raspberry filling in your little cookie. I know in other countries they're called biscuits, but you know, American biscuits are very different from this. They look delicious. 
And so we get a little packet of cookies in here. And they're from Mundelay International, which I've seen on other things. Oh, I bet these are so good. It's wild because everything on the box is in French. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. I've never tried these. I've never seen these before. So they look really, really good. I look forward to trying that. Ooh, look here. We have a minty item. La véritable pastille Vichy parfum menthe menthe. I don't remember how to say that. My French teacher would be very disappointed. I actually, um, when I graduated um, from high school, I won the English or the French. Actually, I won the French award and the English award as well at awards day. It was pretty cool. I got a little pendant for the French award. I still have it. Okay, these look like little, and I could be wrong, I'm not sure, maybe little uh, mint candies. That, yeah, they have the mint flavor to them. French. <laughs> Except for this part, we do have it. We actually have this part in French and English and German, it looks like. So they're mint flavored lozenges. Okay, wow, 230 grams of mint lozenges. Well, that package is nice and crinkly. I do like that. That is very lovely. right up here, you see, like this. Oh, these will be lovely. I love minty stuff in the winter time. I don't know why, I just do. So these are going to be awesome. And it says down here, Fabri Fabrique en France. So that is made in France. Fabrique en France. Nice. I'm looking forward to trying the lozenges. And I love the packaging. It's very nice too. I like the colors. It kind of fades into this blue up here. I have the little mint sprig decoration down here. Vichy. Pastille. La véritable. Very nice. Oh, now here's another thing I've never seen. Look at this. It's from Haribo, which I'm familiar with. These I have never seen. And it's in French. The thing on here is on, everything on here is in French. Original red. And they're a little squishy. They're almost like peeps, but more dense. I could be wrong. Tagada? Tagada? I have never seen these before. I thought I had seen all the Haribo stuff. It looks like it was made in France, and it does not have artificial colors in it. How do you say Haribo in France? Is it the same, or is it like Haribo? I don't know. C'est beau la vie pour les grands et les petits. Nice. For big and small. Aren't they cute? They're little sugar covered, sugar coated things. I don't know what they are. Uh, um, um, I don't know. There's a big one right there. He has a little crown and a staff. Doesn't Harry Bow make a swanny? They make a little bit of everything. Bon bon à savoir. La, la French. 
a French takada. Ces bonbons takada, takada sont naturellement colorés par des extraits de fruits et de plantes. Ils sont fabriqués dans, dans nos usines du sud de la France. Fabrication France. Wow, these are cool. 120 grams. Let's see. Okay, we have some information here in French, German, oh no wait, I don't know what that is, it's not German, it's not English, but they look yummy, I'm kind of curious, you know what, I mean, I'm gonna snip this, I want to try one of these, and speak to my curiosity. I have my trusty scissors here. I'm just going to take a little snip. I have to try one of these. As it's kind of squishy, but it has a hard sugar cutting. Oh, it definitely has a cherry scent to it. it smells really good. I'm gonna try this. Oh. No, it's not like a peep. Oh, those are really good. Mm. To me, it tastes like a red jelly bean. It does. It tastes like a sugar-coated red jelly bean with lots of flavor. Like if you had some cherry-flavored um, uh, jelly belly jelly beans. It tastes a lot like that. Those are great. You know, normally Haribo stuff that I see is just gummy. Seems to just different types of gummies. This isn't really a gummy. This is something kind of different. These are really good. Yeah, I've never seen these in the stores here, so that's... These are really yummy. I like them. If you don't normally like Haribo stuff, you might like these. These are... These are fabulous. These are wonderful. Original red. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I actually bit into one of these. I wanted to see what was in it. And it actually does look like, kind of like a dense marshmallow. So it kind of is like Peeps, only the marshmallow inside is a little bit denser. It's like Peeps once they go stale. I love stale Peeps. They're really good. They're not going to hurt you. I mean, they're just sugar. They're, they're, they don't ever go bad. But yeah, it's like a dense, you see, you can see the sugar coating. It's like a dense marshmallow. These things are spectacular. I wish they sold them here. <laughs> Our next item is from Yves Rocher. Magnolia Thé Blanc. Magnolia White Tea. This is a relaxing bath and shower gel. Oh, I bet this smells really nice. Look at it. It's a beautiful, kind of a pearly pink color. I think the bottle is clear, so you can see what it looks like. 200 milliliters, or 6.7 fluid ounces. Let's see. I want to see what it smells like. I bet it smells really good. Oh, it does. Oh my goodness. It kind of smells like a rose in a way. It's almost like it's rose scented, which that's one of my favorite scents. Oh, wow. Right now I'm using a shampoo that is rose scented. It smells a lot like this. 
this will go with it perfectly. <laughs> oh, I look forward to trying this. I've never heard of this brand before. I don't know if they sell it here or not, but I really like the way this smells. So this is a relaxing bath and shower gel. Nice. It looks like it's all in French on the back. <laughs> That's okay. Well, they have pictures to tell you not to put it in your eyes. And recycle the bottle. I always do. This is great. Thank you. I look forward to trying that. Oh, and next we have a fun little item. Look! Oh. We have a pen. Ooh. I will mispronounce that. Epingle moi, pin me. It's a little unicorn. How cute, look. He has a blue and sort of a teal mane and tail. And a golden horn. It says this pin is the perfect accessory to customize all your outfits. You can pin it on your favorite denim jacket, blouse, or simple top to make them unique. You can also use it to accessorize your backpack or pockets for an individual look. Yeah. Oh, that is adorable. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? I think I'm going to put that on my hoodie to wear to my exercise class in the morning. It'll make it a little better while I'm out there freezing to death. We do it outside, and it's, it's getting really chilly in the mornings around here. <laughs> that is adorable. I love the little pin. Look at that little unicorn. And the tail. <laughs> that is cool. And then I have a little packet. I don't know what this is. It's like a tiny envelope. Look. There's a... Ooh. A beautiful sticker on the back. It's so shiny. It's a beautiful blue sticker on their book. It's so reflective. And on the front, we have three stripes of shiny tape. Pink, yellow, and blue with little flowers. And then we have a little blue flower here with the red center. What could be in here? What is this thing? I don't know. Oh, it's so sparkly and pink. Look, there's glitter on the inside. It's iridescent glitter and pink. What's this? Oh. Oh, look, it's a button from Paris. Oh, it's the Eiffel Tower. Look at the beautiful flowers. La Tour Eiffel. This is neat. It's a little pin from Paris. Oh my gosh. I always wanted to go there. I took French for three years um, in high school. And oh, I always wanted to go there. Wow, that's beautiful. And then pretty. I love the beautiful flowers up at the top of the pin. Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. I like the little, the little envelope too. You really, you really put a lot of thought into this present and I really, I really do appreciate it. I have one more thing. I have a, two cards. Oh, this one is a list of the items. Look at the planet stickers. Oh, that's not a planet, that's a star. That could be a bouncy ball. <laughs> okay, so we have a list of the items. And here, I have a card to Mary. Oh, look at this little sticker, it's a kitty. I love these pieces of tape. Where did you find these pieces of tape? Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Normally, 
I use this as a pointer in some of my videos. It's actually just a letter opener <laughs> that I may or may not have uh, liberated from my my job of 18 years when I was <laughs> let go. Um, I'm going to open this and we'll see what we have in here. Something else in here. 
just have little surprises tucked away in everything. Triceratops and it says just relax and this one is a kitty and it says awesome <laughs> that's cute I like that and this one is awesome <laughs> so many little goodies I'm gonna see the front oh look at the postcard they have little little cherubs and they're all over the Eiffel Tower and we have fireworks. This is such a cool card. Look at the glittery fireworks. Ooh, that's nice. Here's a little list of the items. Okay, so this is the first thing we looked at. The Beaufort short, shortbread. It's just a biscuit with cheese. Okay, Pims are my favorite biscuits. Those are the raspberry flavor. Well, I really look forward to those too. Magnolia with tea shower gel for relaxation. Well, I'll tell you, there are a lot of days I can use that, especially with two kids here every day doing online school and trying to work from home. It's, um, yeah, I can sometimes use that. And I don't watch ASMR videos, so I definitely need the relaxation. The Tagata candies are a very French candy. Hope you like it. Well, that's interesting. They do really remind me of Peeps. They're just a little more dense and the flavor is stronger. But they're really good. I'm, if I'm not careful, I'm going to eat the, eat the whole bag. Vichy candies are minty candies that my family love. It's from the town of Vichy in France. Hope you like it. Well, I am looking forward to everything. I really am. You have some wonderful selections here. P.S. I hope you will enjoy this kitschy postcard of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Alexia. I do. It's, it's really cool. I wonder what made them think of putting the little cherubs in there. Those aren't stickers. That's actually part of the postcard. That's cool. I like it. That is really neat. And I got stickers and some tea. All kinds of great things. Well, Alexia, thank you so much. It's, um, that is just such a cool combination of things and I really appreciate it. That is awesome. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the second package. The next one we have, you'll never guess where it comes from. <laughs> this is from Miss Carlene in Canada. And that's actually very cool because I have a very close family member who is from Canada. And one of the people I work with every day is also from Canada. So that's really cool. Please open on camera. We will totally do. So I'm going to remove the packaging. It has little Canada stickers all over it. It does. It is festooned with Canada stickers. They're really cool. They're kind of holographic stickers. That is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors. Open the package. Oh, I took the packaging off. The, the wrapping. Oh, you're going to love this box. Look, this decorative box. Look, it has a Volkswagen bus on it. We have some little campers. It's Christmas themed. There's another bus. There's the blue one. Oh, they're all blue. The buses are blue. How cute. Oh, this is cool. It has a top that lifts off. can see that we have some little heart glitter in here. There's a piece and this underside of the box has this really nice kind of like a checkerboard pattern. There's a little piece of glitter 
or conf actually not really glitter, it's confetti. And they're sticking to the underside of the, the lid. Let's see. Let's turn it this way. Look at the confetti. Isn't that beautiful? Look how reflective it is. And it matches the the tissue paper perfectly. almost. This is a papyrus card. It says, it's embossed. It says papyrus. We have a little piece of confetti speaking out. Look. And we have a beautiful gold sticker here. I'm going to pop this open and we'll take a look at that. Okay. Oh, look at the underside of this envelope. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's one of the most beautiful interiors of an envelope I've ever seen. That's gorgeous. That would make a really pretty wrapping paper. So let's see. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Nice little multifaceted plastic pieces here and here and down here. Very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the gold. It kind of looks like wallpaper. You may read this aloud. Oh, thank you. I always like to check. I just want to make sure there's no personal information. Okay. Dear Mary, thank you for all your hard work and dedication to your videos. Not only are you relaxing, but you're funny, intelligent, and a teacher. You've got a great attitude toward life, and you're caring and thoughtful too. Thank you again for all your wonderful videos. Oh, you are very well. My name is Carlene, and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. I wanted to show my appreciation by sending you goodies that I believe you cannot get in the USA. I am a student, and I wish I could have sent more, but I hope this package gives you a smile. I love, Carlene. Oh, I, I think you are very sweet for doing this. P.S. I tried to make the package ASMR friendly and wrapped everything in tissue. Also, I added confetti, so this might make a pretty sparkly mess. <laughs> no, it's it's perfect. P.S. P.S. Say hi to Carl for me. <laughs> He's one of my favorites. <laughs> you know, Carl was just supposed to be a one-off, but honestly, he's kind of become one of my favorites. I don't know why, I just, I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, I do like the confetti. Isn't that pretty? It's like Valentine's Day. Oh, I thought of something a minute ago. You know, the, the Haribo candies from France? I thought of what they reminded me of. They do kind of taste, taste like Jelly Belly jelly beans. But actually, they taste like here in the USA in at Valentine's Day. I thought of Valentine's Day when I saw the hearts. Um, they have, Peeps makes these little hearts. They're marshmallow hearts and they're pink and they have the sugar on them. And they do kind of have a, a cherry flavor. It's not as strong as the Haribo, but it really reminds me of that. Only the Haribo candies are more dense, but it's very, it's a very similar flavor though. Okay, sorry, I saw the hearts and I remembered that. All right, let's see what the goodies are. I am always just blown away by the time and 
trouble people go to and I appreciate it so much You guys definitely package things better than I do. I just kind of throw stuff in there and mail it Y'all do a great job I wonder what this is It feels solid person I work with from Canada never says that. <laughs> and it has the, the, the leaf on it, the maple leaf. How about that? Limited edition Smarties. Now here's an interesting thing. To the best of my knowledge, and I may be wrong, the Smarties in the USA, well yeah, this has come up before. I remember now this has actually come up before. Smarties in the USA are something very different. And when I would do candy shelf organizations, and we came to the USA Smarties, people would complain and say, no, those aren't Smarties, they're rockets. But in the USA, they're called Smarties. But it's not this kind of candy. It's something very different. So these are just um, little candies. Let's see, candy-coated milk chocolate. Oh, nice. So is, is it flavored or is it just chocolate? Proudly prepared in Canada. Oh, that's cool. It's part of the Nestle Cocoa Plan. It's made of 100% sustainably sourced cocoa, natural flavors, and no artificial colors. Very nice. Well, I want to try these because I've been hearing about them for a couple of years now. And I even got the limited edition. I got the Canadian ones. They match my nails. So it's a match made in heaven. I'm going to pop this open. Oh, this is the share size. Oh, honey, in the USA, the share size be about half that big. It'd be twice again as big. Or, you know, twice as big. I'm going to open this. I want to try it. Okay, I got a little surprise. I thought these were tiny. Kind of like the size of Tic Tacs. I thought they were like this, but they're actually not. They're larger than that. They're the size of M&M's. See? That's like an M&M. Oh, it's... Mm. The candy coating is a little thicker than an M&M, though. Wow. Oh, it's good. It's quite yummy. But yeah, the candy coating... It's a little different. The chocolate is really good. That's good chocolate. <laughs> That's really good. To me, it kind of tastes like um, the Cadbury chocolate that you can get here. They have it at Easter and Christmas. A little candy-coated Cadbury chocolate. It tastes almost exactly like this. It's really good. These are great. I'm glad I finally got to try the, the Smarties that everybody's been telling me about. And even got to try the Smarties, eh? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Now let's see. Let me get this one. This is 
got a little weight to it. It's kind of heavy. Oh, isn't that cool? Look. Oh, this is going on my refrigerator. <laughs> The Canadian Rockies. Oh, how neat. Wow. That is cool. Here's the leaf again. I've only been to Canada once, and that was a long time ago. When my brother, he, my brother was in the military, and he was stationed in New York State for a little while. And um, my mom and I went up to see him. I think it was during spring break when you're in high school. And we went on up into Canada. And it was awesome. We went to Montreal. We had a good time up there. That's cool. Canadian Rockies. Well, that is neat. I'm going to put this on my refrigerator with all of my other magnets from different places. <laughs> I don't have any from Canada. This will be my first one. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> and my little pieces of confetti <laughs> all over. It's a glitter avalanche. Oh, speaking of Cadbury, look. Cadbury Crispy Crunch. I wonder if that's like Butterfinger. Kind of looks like Butterfinger. I've, I have never heard of this. And now we do have Cadbury here, but I've never seen this before. So that's, that's a new one. Cadbury Crispy Crunch. It's a candy bar with a crispy crunchy inner part. Yeah, that was another thing about Canada. Everything's in English and French because you guys have a lot of French speaking people. Especially in Montreal. My mom and I spent a whole day up there which was great for me. That was my senior year of high school and it was my third year of French. So I thoroughly enjoyed getting to go to basically a French city without leaving or leaving the continent. So that's really cool. Cadbury Crispy Crunch. Wow. It's nice and firm. I mean, I could be wrong. I do just kind of wonder if it's like a Butterfinger because it's a Crispy Crunch and it kind of looks like that. Looks like it's in a little tray. There's a little tray in there. I don't think Butterfinger comes in a tray, but I could be wrong. Well, I can't wait to find out. Okay. Now, then. Wow, we got all kinds of goodies. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh my goodness. I've never seen so much confetti. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a parade. <laughs> this is so heavy. Pure 
maple. Wow. How about that? So you refrigerate it after opening, stir well before using. So it's kind of like the natural peanut butter that you stir before you use it. But it's maple. Oh my goodness, look at the swirls. Yeah, I can see why you would need to stir it. Oh my goodness, 5.6 ounces. It's a pretty picture on there too. It's a glass jar. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. Do you have any recommendations as to what to put it on? Do you put it on like toast or pancakes or waffles or... What would you eat this with? I'm curious. Product of Canada, of course. So cool. Oh, here we have some suggestions. Enjoy on toast, cookies, waffles, and in your favorite recipes. How about that? You can even cook with it. Wow, that is cool. Oh, and look, it has little feet. The little the jar has little feet on it on the corners here. Nice. That's from Pure Pure Nature. P U R N A T U R. Well, thank you for that. That is a very cool thing. I have never heard of that. I really look forward to trying that. I love I love real maple syrup, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. Okay, look how reflective the the uh, confetti is. Wow. Let's see what this is. Volkswagen bus. Oh, and that's rare. You don't often see them with the actual Volkswagen logo on it. Usually it's like a little peace sign or something. This is awesome. This is a 1962 classic, a Volkswagen classic bus. I believe you refer to them as a Type 2. And they have the air vents right here. Later on in the late 60s, they would move up to here, but in the early 60s, they were here. And the brake lights would get larger as the years went on. By the mid-70s, they would be quite a bit larger. If you go back to the late 50s, they were just little circles. They were very tiny. And the rear window also got larger as the years went by. It started out very small, and by the mid-70s, it was quite large. This is flower power. Now this is a barn door bus, which means these do not have sliding doors. The doors swing out like a barn door. They just, I don't want to force it, but they would swing out like that. This is called a split window or a splitty. There's some people call them splitties. Later they would go into a bay window. In 1968, they went through a body style change and they went to a solid window called a bay window. They also changed the Beatles in 1968. And you can tell the difference with the Beatles because the bumper changed drastically in 1968. They went to this type of bumper. Before they had the bumpers with the little extra pieces on them. This is a split window Volkswagen bus. And if you were to buy a real one, they are very, very expensive. Which is why I don't have one. <laughs> I just, you know, if I had that kind of money, I would use it to pay on my house. I couldn't really justify spending it on a bus, but this bus is perfect. Very low maintenance. <laughs> I love the color. Look at the two-tone. You have the sort of a mint green and a white. I love the decals. Flower power. That's beautiful. My little hippie van. <laughs> oh, thank you.
Thank you. I will add that to my collection. Let's see. Confetti. <laughs> it's raining confetti. another Cadbury item, Kara Milk. You could unlock the secret and win $100,000. Is that Canadian dollars? <laughs> How about that? Kara Milk. I do like Cadbury's chocolate. It's really good. Mondelez, we saw that earlier on the biscuits from France. Mondelez International. are individual pieces that you can just break and you can just have a little square. My guess is that it is uh, milk chocolate with caramel inside of the pieces. Let's we'll see. You can kind of feel through the package here. There we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten individual pieces. Oh, I bet that's really good. I've never heard of it. I have to say, that's that's another one I am not familiar with. Oh, I have so many goodies to try. I'm going to have to hide them from my kids or I won't get any of them. <laughs> they like they like to steal my snacks. I have to I have to have a stash. And it's not that I don't share, but if I don't if I don't hide them, I don't get any. And here we have the last thing. Oh, this is heavy too. Over here. 
very nice. I've never seen a little container of syrup like that. That is so cool. Look at that. There's the little cap here. Oh, I am looking forward to this. I need to make pancakes this weekend so we can have some. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Wow. And I love, I love this box. Where did you get the little box? That is so cool. I don't know. I have not seen a box like that here. So I'm really glad that you found it. Well, Carlene, thank you so much for everything. That is so nice. It was really sweet of you to do that. And I am so happy to try some things from Canada because you guys are awesome. I, I have really, I, I love people from Canada. Y'all are so nice. You're, you're like, you're like Southerners from the North. <laughs> you're so polite and so nice. And thank you again. I am really looking forward to trying everything that you sent me. And then we have our third and final package here for tonight. We're going to do three more tomorrow. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to do it in a whisper. But for tonight, this is the final one. And it's from Miss Bridget. And it, I don't know what it is, but it's really heavy. I don't know what's in here. It is, um, it's not a big... It's not a big package, but it's, it's quite substantial. I mean, it's, it's pretty heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the paper from here. And then we can take a look and see what Miss Bridget has sent us. <laughs> okay, I have removed the craft paper, the wrapping over the box. And I just took my scissors, and there was some tape here, and all the way across here, and right here. And I just took my scissors, and cut it open. I haven't looked at anything in here, so let's see what we have. Oh my goodness. I see a Volkswagen bus. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I'll set the box on the floor and then we will take a look at the items. It looks like when I was cutting the tape I accidentally messed up the envelope. I'm sorry about that. I don't think the card is damaged. This is a little Hallmark card. Let's see. Or a Hallmark envelope. Sorry about that. I didn't mean maybe I was a little overzealous with the scissors. Let me make sure there's nothing, there's nothing in here. Okay, I just want to make sure there's nothing personal. Okay, now this is from Miss Bridget. Hello, I just wanted to send you some items that I hope you like. I've had a very hard past two years, and your videos have helped me through it. You have an amazing personality, and I love your outlook in life. <laughs> Please don't ever change. Well, thank you. I did include some candies in there for your sons. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I did make sure they were peanut free. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my older son has a peanut allergy. Thank you. I also included what I think are your favorite treats. I know you wear clip-on earrings, so I hope you can easily transfer the pair of earrings to clip-ons. I get earrings. Oh, that's always awesome. Thank you again for your videos. Please keep them coming. I hope you and your family have a happy holiday. Love, Bridget. Well, thank you. I hope you do too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my, my older son has a pretty severe peanut allergy, so um, I always have to be mindful of that. So I'm going to put that right there. And um, let's see what we have in there. I have a tote. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. This is the VW collection. I've never heard of that. How cool. That's embroidered. And then this is stitched onto the tote. It's a blue, 
beautiful blue canvas tote. Look at that Volkswagen bus. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a real, it's licensed Volkswagen. Wow. It's one of their official licensed products from Brisa Entertainment GmbH, which means they're German. That's a, I believe that's a German corporation, GmbH. Look at that. Look at the little Volkswagen bus tag. Oh my goodness. So they have some information here on the Volkswagen bus. They have it here in German and English. The original VW bus, which I have loved buses for decades. I've been fascinated with them since I was little. I don't know why. I've just always thought they were just super cool. The original VW bus, a success story since 1950. The VW Bully, the German nickname for Volkswagen's legendary creation, holds a fascination which has spanned decades. Crossing age, national, and socioeconomic borders. Quite simply, it is something that would, which inspires passion in its legions of fans around the world. Throughout its history and in all of its ensuing variations over the years, the VW bus remains a cult symbol of originality, evolution, and independence. The VW collection by Brissa embraces all of these emotions and more, an expression of freedom. The VW collection. And look how they have the little back of the bus back here. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is such a cool tote bag. I mean, it has canvas handles too. Wow. And a zipper at the top. It is a dyed to match, or it's a matching blue zipper. That is so cool. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is such a cool bag. I could use that for doing some shopping and stuff. Oh, or like a beach bag if we ever get to go to the beach again. <laughs> that is awesome. That was really sweet. And then the next thing I have, the, the cat theme gift. Here's a little cat paw. Like little scratches. Thank you. What is this? Oh, it's got tape on it. Let me let me undo the tape. Okay, I undid the tape. I have not taken it out. I don't know what this is. It's a cat theme gift. It's a tin. It's a little metal tin, but I think. There might be something in it. Isn't that cute? Why did I pop this open? Oh, look. Oh, you don't know how appropriate this is. I'll tell you. Look at this little metal tin. In here we have sticky notes. Post-it notes. This is super cool, and I will tell you why. So we have these different little post-it note pads here. I use these, you know, I work, I have a day job and I work from home. I use little post-it notes all day, every day. That's how I kind of keep track of what I'm working on that day. And for each project or little task that I have to do, I put the details, I don't need a lot of space, but I put the details on a little post-it note. And then when I'm done, I just, I, I mark everything off. And so I know by the post-it notes where I am in my work for the day. This is awesome. These are so much cuter than the post-it notes I use currently. <laughs> These are fantastic. These are things that I can use every day that I work. And I like the little kitty cats. These are a lot more fun than the little square ones I use. This is cool, actually. The ones I'm using right now are this color. They're like a neon pink. That is great. And I like the little tin, too. I've never seen a little, a little cat theme metal tin like that. 
<laughs> that is awesome. And the next item is wrapped in some beautiful tissue paper. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the flowers. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a necklace. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's a multi-stranded necklace too. Look at these beautiful beads. Oh, that is nice. They're kind of a light green, like a pastel green. Look at these pretty silver discs. Oh, here. Oh, that is beautiful. And we have some little clear, little clear plastic beads too. Oh, well, these are nice. And then up here, we have a medium sized silver chain and a small silver lobster claw clasp with a belt, let's say two and a half inches of adjustable chain. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I will definitely wear that. Thank you, that is such a pretty necklace. Ooh, check it out. I like the bag. Oh, it has little, these are, look like markers and the caps have little kitties on them. Oh my goodness. Let me pop this little bag open. Okay. These are from Sen Senku. I like the frosted plastic pouch. These are nice. These are fine tip little markers. Wow, these are spectacular. These are awesome and I can use these when I work on my story. You know, I'm working on, if you listen to me read uh, ri ri my book River Road, I'm currently working on the sequel to that and it's called Holiday and it has two of the main characters from River Road and I put them back together 13 years later and they get to go on another adventure together. But see, I have, I work with just pads of paper, like legal pads. And I write it longhand for the most part. And these markers are great. I love an extra fine tip um, marker like this. These are awesome. I could use these and I like the little kitty cat too. <laughs> that is so adorable. <laughs> Thank you. And I could also use them for work, but they're way too cute for that. I would, I'd, I'd love to use them for my story. <laughs> that is neato. Okay, next, look, we have a wall of goodies. Oh my goodness. They could be anything. We have so many things. What are they? What are they? Wow. Bridget, you really, you, you, you outdid yourself. I am still blown away all the time by, by how generous and thoughtful my subscribers are. I still say I have the best subscribers of anybody on YouTube. I don't care what anybody says. Mine are the best because you guys are just awesome. Ooh. This tissue paper is beautiful. I love this. Oh, look, look. Oh no, it's Santa and Mrs. Claus on a Volkswagen bus. Where did you find that? That is so cute. Oh my gosh. That is too precious. Look at him sitting up there. And here's the little, little loop back here. 
Oh, that is just adorable. I'm going to put this on my rustic Christmas tree this year. You know, I'm going to do two trees. This would look really good on the, the rustic tree. Oh, this is going to look so cute. Look how adorable that is. It's resin. That is really cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's a little solid thing. Oh, it's nail polish. Oh, check it out. This is, oh, I am not familiar with this color. I've never seen this one. This is LA Colors Color Craze, which we organize all the time. But I've never heard of this color. It's called Greek Isles. And it's kind of a metallic color. It's not really green, but it's not teal either. That is cool. Look at that. That is a nice color. You want me to test it? I'm going to grab a piece of paper. I'll use the label. Oh, it's a nice metallic. It's kind of like the LA Colors um, metallic emerald. It's very similar to that. Yeah, oh, that's a nice color. Thank you. I will Right now I'm wearing, this is um, Sally Hansen Insta Dry ASAP Apple, and I only had to do one coat. I was going to do a second one, but I thought this one looked pretty good. So I have a Revlon base coat under it, ASAP Apple, and then a Sally Hansen, um, I forget the name of it, Mega something, Mega Shine top coat over the top of it. It's a quick drying top coat. So that's what that is. Maybe I can do this one next. This is a beautiful color. Wow. Yeah, I have not this. I don't know if this is a new one or if I just haven't run across it before. That's awesome. Oh, I think this is another one. This one we've seen. I don't have it though. When we've organized nail polish, this is LA Colors Color Craze and it is called Pizzazz. Yeah, we've, it's a beautiful, it's like a bubblegum pink color. It's really nice. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty true here too. It dries just like that. Very nice. Oh, I think this is another one. Oh, now this one I am not familiar with. This is from Sassy and Chic. And for their nail polishes, um, as far as I'm aware, they don't actually give them names. They just have the number 904. This one is 904. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of a burgundy color, but it has glitter to it as well. Wow. That is nice. And I don't have this one, so now I do. It's almost like you looked through my nail polish and you saw what I didn't have. <laughs> that is awesome. I'll use all those. Let's see. Oh, this is a separate thing. Here we have some pretty green tissue paper. Oh, what have we got? Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh my. That is a nice bracelet. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I like the, the stone in here is kind of green. Look at that. Isn't that 
cool. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I like that. It's very smooth. That's a polished stone right there. That's very smooth. Oh, that is nice. It's so beautiful. Thank you. And this. I don't know what this is. Seattle, Washington. How about that? Oh, wow. And one of the people I work with remotely actually lives in Seattle. That is really cool. This is Road Trip Soap, handcrafted by Seattle Sundries. Seattle Sundries in Seattle, Washington. Look at the hippie bus. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Simple soap packed with personality. That is so cool. Well, I want to smell it. Let me um, let me remove the plastic. I want to see what it smells like. Okay, so I took the plastic off. That is so cute, the little Volkswagen bus. Ooh. Oh, it's patchouli. It's patchouli scent. Oh, look at that. I love these little tins. These are so cute. Look at this. That's patchouli, definitely. Well, that's perfect for the Volkswagen bus. Totally. Oh, thank you. That is cool. Let's see what this says. Road Trip Soap. This soap was made with earth-loving, free-living, road-tripping people in mind. Its deep red color comes from natural French clay which is used in holistic medicine as a skin purifier. Its rich and earthy scent of patchouli mixed with orange for freshness makes it a favorite among roamers of the roads. Groovy. I do smell the orange in there now that you mention it. That is some awesome soap. And I love the little tin too. I would keep that after the soap is gone. Maybe I can use that to keep spare change in or something. That is neat. See, it is it is just amazing to me. Y'all are so thoughtful. I mean, you, you pay attention and you get me the coolest things. I really appreciate it. Here's a little thing in this pretty floral paper. It's a multi-stranded necklace, too. Oh, it's tangled in itself. Um, with multi-stranded necklaces, you just kind of... It helps if you can lay it out and just kind of gently separate the strands. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, these necklaces do this. It's the nature of the beast. They they do that. That's okay. We got it. Oh, it has three strands. Look. Oh, that's so pretty. And they're all different lengths. We have this one with the purple bead. And a little tree pendant and this oval purple pendant. I love the silver strands here. Look at that. 
And we have a small silver lobster claw clasp and about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. That is gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Thank you so much. That that is that is so pretty. I like that. <laughs> ring. Oh, that is so neat. Look at that. Is it, it's an elastic? Yeah, yeah. It has elastic down here. That is so pretty. See, this part is elastic, so it stretches to fit. Isn't that neat? And it matches the pendant. This has a little bit more blue in it, but it would look good with this necklace right here. Oh, thank you. That is cool. And oh, it has rhinestones too, here and up here. Oh, that is extra cool. I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Oh, I love this. Look at this. It looks like a big crystal. It's plastic, but look at this. Beautiful. No, it's not. Actually, no. I think that may be glass. Look at the rhinestones up here. What a fantastic pendant. Oh my goodness. Wow. We have this nice silver chain. And this small to medium sized lobster claw clasp. And again, about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. That is just beautiful. Oh, I look forward to wearing that this winter with all my sweaters. I love to wear long necklaces with my, my winter sweaters. Oh, wow. That is going to look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. That is, I don't, where did you get that? That is just so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look forward to wearing that with my sweaters. What's this one? And here we have the earrings. Oh, and look, they match. They go with my rings and my necklace. These are paparazzi earrings. Yes, I can I can actually convert these very easily. See, with earrings like this, all I have to do is remove this part. And then I have my little spring clip hoop earrings that I just loop through there. And that's it. This takes two seconds. And so yeah, now I have earrings to go with my ring and my necklace. Oh, those are beautiful. I love the little purple center there. Those are gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, I thought this was going to be heavier. It's large, but it's just lightweight. so funny. I was just looking at these yesterday. But I did not buy one. I did look at them though. Look at this ornament. If you see the video I made yesterday, I believe this is one of the ones I looked at. Or if it wasn't exactly like this, it was very similar. Oh, it's like a Volkswagen bus. And it has little Christmas lights going down the side and a Christmas tree on top. The lights that go all the way around. A little, little Volkswagen bus. This we could put on my pink and gold and white tree because it's super sparkly and I think it would look really good on there. 
even the tires are, are sparkly look <laughs> that is awesome so I have a bus for my rustic tree and a bus for my sparkly tree oh that is absolutely perfect <laughs> that is too cute let's see what this one is Idealistic soap nerds, a bucket full of mad ambition, and a dose of blind optimism was all it took to make Stone Street smoke st soap house what it is today. The most fun, most wholesome, most devilishly handsome body care company in the land. This indulgent body cream is scented with chamomile, lavender, and celery seed extracts and enriched with English honey, shea butter, and cocoa butter. Its warm, straw-like fragrance was inspired by the scent of a haystack on a hot summer day, summer's day. Oh, I'm very familiar with that. That is a very distinct scent. They have a website, www.stonestreetsoap.com. I know what a haystack smells like on a hot summer day. Let's see if they nailed it. They sound like a lot of fun. This should be interesting. Lord have mercy, that's close. It does smell like a haystack on a hot summer's day. They kind of got it right. With a hint of something. What is that? celery. I can smell the celery. <laughs> so if you put some celery sticks in a hot bale of hay, that's what it smells like. That is interesting. <laughs> Let's try it. Now I use a lot of lotion in the winter because my skin gets so dry. I, I think a lot of people have trouble with dry skin, especially in the, in the winter. I do. Well, let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to get that much. <laughs> oh, it's very silky. Oh, and it's not greasy at all. Oh, it's very lovely, actually. I'm trying not to get it on my ring. Now I smell like a hot bale of hay on a summer night with celery in it. Oh, that is some nice lotion. Oh, it just goes right in there. Oh, that's nice. And this is perfect timing because I have this, um, 
I have a lot of little trial size things of lotion and I've been trying to use them up and I have one on my nightstand right now that's almost empty and I was gonna have to get another one I will just put this on my nightstand and use this instead of having to constantly try to squeeze a little bit more out of those trial tubes I just I ended up with a bunch of them in the medicine cabinet and I'm trying to use them up this is nice I wondered why it was called hey ho are they talking to me? <laughs> no, because it's wholesome body cream. This is neat. Now, the cream itself, I thought the cream was going to be green, but it's not. The container is green. The cream itself is not. Oh, and it just absorbs in. It's, yeah, it's not greasy at all. Oh, this is nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put this on my nightstand. Because every night before I go to bed, I put, I use um, hand magic from Chamonix on my hands before bed and I let it soak in overnight. But I will use this one for now. This is some, this is some nice lotion. I like that. And we've got some other goodies in here too. Let's see. Oh, look. we got a big old lollipop. It's a sugar pop. A swirly lollipop. I have two of them. Now I wonder who these are for. <laughs> these are for my boys, and I know they are going to love that. And this way they don't have to fight over the lollipop. They each get their own. <laughs> Thank you for that. They love these. I don't get them for them very often, but I will definitely let them enjoy these. Thank you for that. We also have, these just happen to be a favorite of my kids, the Haribo Gold Bears. These are the, I think these are like the original gummy bears. And they, oh, they love these so much. And we have two four ounce packets of Haribo Gold Bears too for the boys. It was so sweet of you to include something for them. I really appreciate it. And then finally, we have Werther's Original. We have Creamy Caramel Filled Hard Candies and the Original Caramel Hard Candies. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I won't see any of this like this. They will run off with this stuff. Like, I will not, I will not get any of it. <laughs> they will run away. Thank you so much for that. They are going to love that. Thank you for everything. I tell you, this is so awesome. And thank you for all of my goodies and everything. Oh my gosh. You are so sweet. I really appreciate it, Bridget. You are just a sweetheart, and thank you for watching all my videos. I'm so glad that you enjoy them. And that is our last package for today. And tomorrow we'll have three more in a whisper. If you don't like my soft-spoken stuff, I will do those in a whisper tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all these fantastic goodies. And I will see you again really soon. Have a great day.